Hey there, welcome to another episode of the Sage Studio Podcast. I am so excited to bring on Lana Bashara as the guest on Sage Studio today. Lana Bashara is the principal of our Virtual Learning Academy. She's the principal of the TK through 8 program. And I'm so glad to have her here on the show today. Welcome, Lana. Thanks, Tiffany. Happy to be here. Good. Well, I really wanted to shine a spotlight on the Virtual Learning Academy or VLA program today so that our community could really know more about the program, what you offer, who it's for, all of those things. So before we dive into the actual program, I know you've been with Sage Oak for a while and you've been part of actually not only running this program, but developing this program. So before we dive into it, give us a little history on your background with Sage Oak. Sure. I came to Sage Oak about seven years ago. This is my seventh year at Sage Oak. And in the beginning, I supported students. TK through 12th grade was really fun. And I got to learn all about what the teachers do on their end and what's called the Personalized Learning Academy now. And the year afterwards, I joined the high school program and started supporting high school students. And I did that for a couple of years and was a coordinator and then became a lead coordinator. I was also a test site coordinator. At one point, I've kind of dipped my toes into a lot of the different departments, which was really fun. And then I was also a regional mentor when I was in the high school program. And then after that, I came over to the Virtual Learning Academy. So this is my second year as a principal here, and it's just really been a joy. And it's our second year of the program. So I did take a little part in developing the program and then just putting its roots down last year because it was our first year. It was a really extraordinary time, and it's been pretty amazing to see our program just about double in size this year. So we're That's looking forward. Incredible. Thanks, what is, yeah. What is the enrollment at the program right now? We're at about 430 students, so oh it's, been, it's been really fun. That's yeah. incredible. So how did this program even come to be? You said that you're part of actually forming the program, bringing this program to Sage Oak. So where did that come from? We saw a need in terms of just trying to have a, a more class platform, live instruction, and I was working alongside one of the colleagues who actually really started the program. And so I was giving input and feedback as part of that. She actually really helped to develop it. And then I kind of took it over right before it was launching. And so in the mix of all of that, it was a lot of feedback from the parents as far as like, what would you like to see if we could offer sort of a hybrid situation where you're still an independent study, you still have a few days a week where you've got this flexibility to teach your kiddos and come alongside your teachers. But at the same time, you're getting your instruction for your kiddos in all of their core subject areas. And so it was a lot of what should the schedule look like? What do we want in terms of additional support for our students? Like we have a tutoring slash small group time after lunch that is not common in normal schools, right? So it was all about how many days a week, how long will it be? What will the curriculum be? And once we were able to kind of narrow down what we were gleaning from our parents and students, we were able to launch it last year. So it was really fun. So let's talk about that for a second. Let's talk about what does it look like in the Virtual Learning Academy? How is it structured? What days a week are students going to classes? So students attend live instruction three days a week. So it's sort of like bookends if you want to think about it. So on Mondays and Fridays, they've got independent study days. We do offer the ability for students to engage all days of the week, but they're not required. So Mondays and Fridays are optional. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, they are with their class, with their teachers for live instruction for math, English, science, and social studies. On Mondays, we have actually partnered with our personalized learning program and we are able to provide enrichment classes through the Oak School platform. And so all of our virtual learning academy students are able to enroll and everything is provided in the virtual learning academy. So they're able to enroll and we send them all the supplies. They can enroll in as many as three elective classes on Monday mornings. And then our teachers offer office hours for support, questions, 
And then on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, they have instruction. And it's not long days. It's not what you think of when you think of what happened during the pandemic, where Mm -hmm. a lot of students were sitting in front of the computer from like 8 to 2 or 8 to 3. It's 9 to 12.15 for our TK through 5th graders, and it's 9 to 12.40 for our 6th through 8th graders. And then what happens is after lunchtime, they have an additional hour of support, which they may or may not be invited to. It just depends on their needs, what the teacher um, wants to focus on with a specific group of students. Everyone gets an early out day on Wednesday because there's professional development for teachers, fun. And then Fridays, we have a Sage Stage with you, which is very fun. So all students can participate in that. And then we also offer clubs on Fridays if they want. So that's like an optional small group time come. We've got art. We've got cooking. We've got some fun middle school recess, just different things that are offered each week. And we actually invite our personalized learning academy students to those clubs as well. I love that because you're taking something where students can group together. They take a class together. They can have consistent instruction from a teacher a few days a week. But you still offer so much personalization within that, which is great because I know our Sage community really values that, right? And I love that they're able to kind of have that structure Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. But then there's a lot of room for those personalized options or programs or clubs on those bookend days, like you call them, with the Oak School and with the clubs and and things like that. So that is great. That does seem like it makes it a very special program. I mean, do you see that there are lots of these types of programs for parents to choose from? Or do you feel like the Virtual Learning Academy is pretty unique in the way that it's structured? Been around many different types of online communities and platforms and actually attending these national conferences and different things. And it's been interesting to see how unique Sage Oak is in terms of our virtual learning academy, because there really isn't another program that I found that is more of this hybrid. Mm -hmm. And I think we have such an emphasis on the parent partnership piece Mm -hmm. where it's, it really isn't here you go. Here's my kiddo teach them. I'm just going to sit back. Like the parents are really a part of what's going on in their children's education, especially in terms of completing that asynchronous piece, that independent study piece, not just the homework per se, but like the work that's assigned on the Mondays and Fridays. And so it it is really unique in the sense that we're offering personalization even within this virtual classroom-based program. Sure. And, and also being able to provide different elective options where it's like you choose what you'd like to do and you choose what clubs you want to attend and we're able to differentiate different projects that kids are assigned to and there's just a a very open line of communication between our parents our teachers and our VLA team in general. I love that and you know I know one of the questions that parents want to know is how is this different than just online curriculum? Like what makes a virtual learning academy different than just online curriculum? Can you speak to that a little bit? Yeah, I'm glad you brought that up because although we have an online platform and we're meeting virtually, our curriculum is actually books and workbooks and lab kits and hands-on materials. And so Students do not spend a lot of time on the screen outside of that classroom time necessarily. They may be submitting their work, but the majority of the work can be done in their textbooks and workbooks and project-based learning. And then they're taking pictures of that and uploading it rather than having to go through an online curriculum per se. And so you really are getting that varied instruction and more of that interaction And especially collaboration within the classroom time that you wouldn't be getting with a general like virtual program. So what does that collaboration look like? I mean, you have kids, they're online, they are, are they able to connect with each other and talk with each other? Are they just receiving information? How does that work? Yeah, it's so cute. I mean, when we have our field trips once a month and we're all getting together as a huge community, it's been so sweet to see how close the students really are to each other and the friendships and the bonds they've developed. And many of our teachers have said, like, I feel more connected to my students 
in this virtual academy than I even did in the classroom because I get to see them in their element, in their home. Like their pets are walking in and they're <laughs> showing me their dogs and their cats. Like their mom and dads are saying hi. Like I am seeing the family on a more regular basis. And so it's really sweet. In the actual classroom platform, it's been really lovely just to be able to utilize breakout rooms mm. and the opportunity for students to share presentations to work together in those breakout rooms, come back, speak together, do group projects even outside of class. And because we've built such a strong community, students really enjoy working together and they thrive off of that collaborative process, whether it's the group projects or just talking through math problems. Mm -hmm. So it's been really lovely to see that. That is so great. I, I love that you are providing this program for our Sage Oaks community, Lana, and I love everything that you are continuing to do to evolve and to grow the program. If parents want to get more information about your program, where would be a great place for them to find that information? Our Sage Oak website is amazing. It's got tons of information on our virtual academy page. We even have our guidebook posted for parents if they want to get a glimpse into how we support our parents through the program. They can do that. We also have slides that I actually run through with our webinars that happen twice a month. So if they want to even go on to the calendar section, they can register for a webinar and they'll be able to speak to me directly. Or like I said, the, the website's got a lot of information. So Perfect. they can definitely look there. Yeah. Okay. I will definitely be sure to include a link to the website in our show notes so that if you're listening to this podcast and you want to grab a link after you hear this, go ahead and just go to the show notes. I will be sure to include that there. Otherwise, you can just go on to www.sageoak.education programs, then virtual academy and under the TK through eight section. That's where you'll find links to all of Lana's information. So Thank you so much, Lana, for being on the podcast today and shining a spotlight on the Virtual Academy. We are so glad that it is such a successful program, that you are really making such a big impact in so many lives of the students and families within Sage Oak. So thank you so much for all that you are doing and for sharing that with us today. Oh, thank you so much. It really is a blessing and an honor and a privilege to be part of this community. Thanks, Lana.